Yo guys, what is going on? It's your girl Randy Moop here and welcome back to another video and in today's video guys I'm gonna be going over some top tips that have helped me gain money and XP on GTA 5 online guys This is online only not offline so make sure you're online for this before we get into this video though guys Make sure you smash the like button make sure you subscribe as well guys If you're new to this channel guys make sure you smash that subscribe button And if you're not new guys make sure you turn on that notification so that you know when I'm uploading So guys the number one tip I can give you right now that everyone does wrong I'll admit it myself I have done this every time I start up a GTA online new game like I buy the game then I put it in install it blah 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 all that kind of stuff first thing I do guys once I get a bit of money and I'm pretty sure everyone does the exact same thing guys is go and waste the money for example I'll go to this I'll go to like the tattoo place go get my hair done I don't know just go get new clothes I will waste the money that I should be saving say if I do a mission guys I'll wait I'll go back into the world guys and then I'll just go waste that money straight away do not do that okay fair enough go buy yourself like guns a car and just mod your car and stuff like that if that's what you want to do and then personally guys just save your money as much money as you get guys just save it up until you have enough money to buy a decent high-end apartment because that's the main thing you need mainly to get the most amount of money that you can possibly get at each time but guys if you're saving up to buy a high-end apartment here's how to do it okay so when you first go into the map you need to get some guns and stuff like that first thing you're gonna go do guys is go pinch some cars you're gonna go pinch the best cars not the two modified cars but the best cars you can find with the most value guys there's a you know I'm sure there's a site somewhere and picture somewhere you can find the most high value in cars that are not too modified that you can't you know customize take it into Los Santos guys and sell it for as much as you can do that every time you're allowed I'm sure there's like a period where you cannot do it there's like a time gap between each time you sell cars so you just wait until that's over guys go get another one sell it waste some time while you're waiting guys but wasting them times go to it go to each shop on the map guys there is there's around 10 shops on the map guys go to each one of them in a massive circle and rob the shops guys if you go into invite only um into the invite only kind of thing you can actually turn the cops off so that you can rob the shops guys and not have any cops now the best thing to rob the shops is kill the guy as soon as you walk in and steal the cash yourself because it gives you much more money so while you're stealing then selling the cars guys you're gonna be building up not just your money but your XP as well guys it doesn't give you much XP but it does level you up a little bit more so you still haven't got enough for the high-end apartment that you want you're gonna go into quick games you're gonna go into race guys and you're gonna look for the stunt races they offer double money and double XP you're gonna look for any mission or any race guys that offers double XP and double money if you come at least first in them guys you're gonna win a decent amount of money okay you're gonna win enough about seven races you're gonna win enough to buy one of them high-end apartments but guys if you're not if you're not winning first place at least come about fourth place or at least finish the race guys do a couple of them races just enough till you have your you know amount that you're looking for you probably have to do around 10 to 20 races if you're not want to come first but if you come first guys you can do around seven you'll be able to afford a decent high-end apartment now take this in mind okay guys all high-end apartments are exactly the same interior okay it's just where it's located go for the cheapest high-end apartment it is literally an apartment with a 10 car garage and it's just the same as the other one and you can host heists in there guys there's no problem as long as it's a high-end you can do heist okay guys so once you've actually done all them steps guys or done whatever you can take to get you to the high-end apartment you then go and start heist you will receive a call of Leicester you have to be over 12 XP guys level 12 on GTA for on GTA online but I'm pretty sure that after doing all these guys you you should be over level 12 by the time you get this high-end apartment um, if you're not then just keep putting up your XP by doing these races doing these missions guys and you know your XP will soon enough go up over 12 as long as it's as long as the number before is 12 going under 13 guys you're away to go you will receive a call of Lester then guys you answer it and he sets up first heist guys which will be Los Santos bank uh, rob so guys once you've done that 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 heist guys you're then gonna get a decent amount of money you then pay for each heist so you gotta take that into consideration guys you pay for each heist okay so once you've done that you keep going on to the next heist do not waste any of your money yet go on to the next heist guys then the next and the next until you've done about three heists guys keep all your money in again guys do not spend a little bit off it unless you want to buy you know unless you want to muck about with cars and you make 
but make sure you have guns, okay? Because you're need, gonna need guns to do these heists. Um, once you've done these heists, guys, you're then gonna have a decent amount into your bank account. I will say this now, guys. Make sure you're putting your money into your bank account because if you die, you drop some or you know half of the money that you that you have that fails because you're just gonna lose all the money. Once you've done about three or four heists, guys, you should have enough. Hopefully, you should have enough if you've done it right, guys. You should have enough to buy a motorcycle gang. Now, guys, once you have bought that motorcycle again before you buy it actually take into mind guys that there are tons and tons and tons of motorcycle guns now I'd recommend you going for the cheapest one which is around two twenty thousand odd guys um, but the only thing about that is that the fact that it's all the way based up by um, like the desert and all that and you know if your high-end apartment which it will be is in the city it's hell of a trek each time all the way up there but guys if you want to spend the money and get one closer then go ahead but I've got the one that isn't close so yeah that, that's the only thing that I've done wrong there but guys it doesn't matter what motorcycle place location that you choose guys it's all gonna be the same it's just a little bit you know it's the location that takes the value up so once you've bought that guys you're then going to go inside and you're going to be to do missions okay these are these are selected missions for the motorcycle guy if you have people in your gang as well that's even better guys because it goes much faster and much easier to do and the money isn't 100% good okay but it's decent okay as long the hosts guys are giving you the most money right now but the motorcycle um, missions will also give you side money so that you can spend or so that you can save up as well and the reason why we're saving guys I will tell you in a moment but guys you're gonna do you can there's like every time you go in there there's always gonna be one spawn there or every time you restart the um, the session guys there's gonna be more missions there so you just keep say like you spend about two hours doing missions um, they take you about 20 minutes each some of them take you about five ten minutes but the longest one guys is 20 minutes so that's okay guys because you spend about two hours doing that guys you're sorted you have a decent amount of money along with your host as well heists as well then guys here comes the fun bit okay so once you have done all that I've said okay you have at least one million maybe a little bit more inside your bank account you then go into your motorcycle gang um, your motorcycle clubhouse and you go on the laptop you then come up to a different screen that normally comes up when you go onto the internet and it will be businesses okay now there's five businesses that you can buy be I think it might be five or six businesses you can buy but you can only own four of them I think not 100% but I'm pretty sure you can only own four of them now if you go online you can find out which one gives you the both the the best money and which one you know is the quickest and stuff like that but they basically you got to own either a drug or an illegal product kind of um, business with this guys you're going to be able to do missions you're going to be able to um, you're going to be able to get money daily not 100% the best money but you're going to be able to get money daily and you're also going to be able to do missions which give you a decent amount of money okay so so you want to take into consideration which business you buy. Businesses with the most money, guys, is the businesses that are the most expensive. You gotta think about that as well. But if you save up enough money, guys, you're going to get there. The only thing is about having a business, guys, is that when it comes to stock, you have to stock your business. But guys, you can go and steal the products instead of paying for them, which is better because you know you get a little bit of money for it as well. Your XP goes up and you're saving money, so you know you can't complain on that one. Okay, guys, last thing guys is nothing to do with how you earn money but it's gonna be my personal experience on each one I've said on earning money now from the top guys number one the best thing you can do guys is heist okay every time you complete a heist the heist goes up and up and up and your money will also go up with it so every time you complete the heist you get even more money okay I'm not too sure how many heists there are to complete I'm pretty sure it just keeps going on and on and on but guys as soon as you start getting over on the 10th heist your money will go up to at least like 1 million per Person, guys so you're gonna be rolling in the money I also forgot to say guys that you can buy offices which you can also do work from and own and stuff like that that doesn't give you the best money as well guys I would just like to say that now um, second on my list guys is going to be doing is uh, gonna be owning a business okay because that will give you just under the same amount that you get from heists then guys will be the motorcycle club and then guys will just be the selling the races and all you know the the first beginning kind of money making stuff guys make sure you keep doing the heist get loyal friends do not just do it with 
randomers. Someone like me, guys, I stick with the same people every time I do the heist because I know that they can do it and I know that, you know, they won't take all my money off me because they're just there on the side helping me rather than, you know, taking it all off me. But the good thing is I go and help them as well. So, like, we, we split it even, okay? So they help me, I give them half. Well, not even half, I give them, like, 50%. Um, they ha I help them, they give me 15% back as well. So, you know, we're e working equally here. So, yeah, guys, just make sure you have a decent... Um, decent people who's gonna be joining into the heist as well because once they start getting hard people's gonna start dying and leaving if you don't know them make sure you have them on the mic as well if they are random people guys you can speak to them can you know not control them but you can you know speak to them and understand why they keep dying just try and help them a little bit so yeah guys this is the best way and the easiest way that I found that can help you get earn, that can help you earn really good money in GTA make you basically a millionaire in GTA just like it's helped me and also help you with your XP I hope you like this video guys make sure you make sure you smash the like button and please can you hit that subscribe button guys and help me hit 300 subscribers before I don't know February the 15th <laughs> I don't know guys so yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye.